Hi, it's Rob, and I'm currently at Wembley, as you can see. What have we got? About 700 in this course at the moment. <laughs> okay, so we're actually on Brand and Marketing Masterclass. Uh, I very rarely run courses nowadays. I've retired many times. And in fact, I believe this is the final Brand and Marketing Masterclass where I'm the lead trainer. I may come in and do the odd slot, but I think we've got Gary in the room and others um, who are going to be taking this course on. So in this uh, quick live feed video, I'm for you on the course, I want to discuss marketing. Now, the single most important function in business, and I would argue till the cows come home this, is marketing. Now, some people say, well, Rob, sales is more important than marketing because sales puts money in the bank. But what generates the leads for sales? It's marketing. Oh, well, if you've just got a telesales team, well, the, the booking of the leads and the chasing of the money is actually marketing, not sales. Now, if you're really good at marketing, you don't need to be as good at selling. And that's the good news. So there are a lot of Brits, especially us Brits, who are a little, oh, I don't want to sell, I don't want to sell, I don't want to sell, oh, don't, I don't want to sell. <laughs> don't know why I did that voice. I heard coffee was good this morning. Um, <laughs> You know, we're, like, we're a bit apologetic. We don't want to be pushy. We're worried about being judged, putting people off. So, you know, the Americans would say, get over it. I would say, get good at marketing then. Because if your marketing is so good that people go, wow, I want it, you don't have to sell. You have to um, order take, but you don't have to sell as much. I'll give you a good example. Um, so, do you remember the day when you got an MP3? And you plugged it in the computer and it took you 19 years to download a song. You remember that. And do you remember when you used to buy computers and it was all Pentium, Gigahertz, Megahertz, RAM. And I didn't understand any of that shit. And then Apple came along and launched an iPod. And their marketing campaign was 10,000 songs in your pocket. Bang. There it is. I get goosebumps every time I say that. And the reason is that wouldn't have been a flippant thing they just made up. There would have been a lot of time and energy and discussion and research into coming up with that micro script. 10,000 songs in your pocket. And that was fantastic marketing. So here's the shocker. I'm always shocked at this. I run a marketing mastermind at the moment. It's been going three months. I believe it's the only marketing mastermind in the country. It's called 4X, as in four times, marketing mastermind. Because the guarantee or the promise is you get four times return on your marketing. And as part of that marketing mastermind, I foolishly, because I tend to give a bit too much, I foolishly gave everybody a one-to-one -one session and sent them a business plan, a marketing business plan to fill in, and I read them all before their session. So I gave myself like two hours work per person. I've got like 65, 70 people on this programme. So at the start of the year, I did 65 to 70 business plans that I read word for word, and then 65 to 70 one-to-one -one calls, which lasted from 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, so I beasted myself a bit. But I was shocked and I learned a lot. And here's what I learned. 70 to 80% at least of those businesses were doing zero marketing. And there were coaches, consultants, trainers, service providers, plumbers, e commerce there's all sorts of businesses. There were all uh, doctors, dentists, um, implantologists. I thought that was, but it's actually your teeth. I didn't know that. Um, I was quite excited to work with an implantologist, never had done before. I like assets, anyway. Um, all the women have just left the building. <laughs> um, all sorts of businesses. And 80% of them, 8 out of 10, weren't doing any marketing. Now, yeah, I just squeaked then, didn't I? I was that excited about it. So, the analogy is this. Just make a note of this. Uh, tattoo it in your head. So, if you have a shop, then the stock is in and hopefully you've got the good stock. You've got the cash register, you've got the, the security cameras, you've got the good location, of course you've got the massive overhead. Maybe you or someone who's really good is the cashier or the clerk in the shop who's really good at selling. Um, I buy a lot of clothes from a Vivian Westwood shop, um, which is about 10 miles north of here near Stamford. Um, and Dagmar is the name of the lady who's been um, running that shop for like three decades. She's the best saleswoman you've ever met. I go in there and I come out with stuff I don't want. And she's brilliant. Um, but if I don't go in the shop, that shop doesn't exist. Um, so if you don't get people in your shop, you don't have a business. Great coach, great consultant, great marketer. Sorry, great coach, great consultant. 
you know, great technical deliverer, really good experience in your vocation. But people aren't told this. People aren't taught, like when they go and maybe get a degree, they become a, a doctor, a dentist, a lawyer, or they do, okay, in some business degrees, you'll get taught some marketing. But they don't really get taught. You've got to equally be good at marketing as you are good at your thing. Most people are just taught on courses, what's your thing? Be good at your thing. Find your calling. You know, this is how you create a product, a service. This is how you start and scale a business. But they're not taught that marketing is equally as important. I would even argue it's more important. Because great product, no marketing, no money. Shit product, great marketing, a lot of money. Until you have to give refunds. So if, if I'm forced into a corner, what's the most important part of any business? It's marketing. Now there are two main elements of marketing. And this is called brand and marketing masterclass. And the two main elements of marketing are brand marketing and direct response marketing. And we're going to do about a third on brand and two thirds on direct response. And I think that's about equal measure. So brand is when you're in London uh, and there's like a massive hoarding up on the biggest building and it's just a picture of an iPhone. That's brand marketing. But people like Apple and Coca-Cola and Pepsi and McDonald's, they would have a two or three billion pound or dollar a year budget for brand marketing. Because they've got to get in your head and make you think of that fizzy drink or that device at the point of purchase. Whereas most startup or scale up businesses or entrepreneurs, you can't afford to spend that much money on brand. So the best way to start and grow a business is using direct response marketing. Direct response marketing is where there is a call to action, i.e. buy my shit or stuff. It is opt in here, buy here, subscribe here, review here, share here, apply here. That's direct response marketing. And that's a, an art and a science. And that's what we're going to cover for two thirds on the brand and marketing masterclass. Now, the fundamental rule of marketing, which I told you before we went on live, so um, if you're watching live, listen to this very carefully. The fundamental rule of direct response marketing is ABT, always be testing. Uh, and then there's the other ABT, which is always be tracking. So direct response marketing is actually a pretty simple concept. What you do is you test something, you track something, you measure something, you tweak stroke, improve something, and you repeat. So that would be test, track, measure, review, repeat. I'll repeat. You want to write this down. Test, track, measure, review, repeat. Now, for the testing part, what I like to do is have a mentor, or be in a mastermind, or go on a course, or follow an influencer and study someone who's done a lot of the testing for me. Like when I share with you my launch model later on in the course. I've been running that launch model for 13 years. Improving it bit by 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 bit. I was having a meeting with John, Dr. John Martini yesterday who's got massive global influence. And I told him how, how many books we sell and he was pretty taken aback and he said, how would you do that? And um, I shared with him that launch model, which I shared with you before we went live. The pre-launch, the building the desire and the hunger, the compelling offer, the um, value stack, the proposition, which is, makes it more valuable than they perceive they pay. And then the deadline, the timeline, the end, the fear of missing out, the scarcity, the urgency. Cool. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I've decided that throughout today and maybe tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a bit of a theme on my um, social media pages all about brand and marketing. So make sure you tune in or um, hit the notifications to be notified when my videos go live so you can see them. I've not done anything like this before. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. And I don't know why I'm talking so fast.